You're looking for moccasin slippers, but there are a million different options out there to choose from. How can you possibly know which are the best? Watch this video to find out which moccasin slippers are the best ones to wear in and around your house for years to come. I'm Mallory Graham from TribalTradeCo.com where we offer over 130 different styles of moccasins and mucklucks. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time we post a brand new video just like this one on indigenous moccasins and lifestyle products. If you are looking for the best moccasin slippers to wear in and around your house but you're not sure which to choose with all the different options out there, then we're here to help you find the most perfect pair that will be the most comfortable and the perfect fit for all of your needs. We've helped thousands of customers find moccasins that they love, that they will get the most use out of, and now it's your turn. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what the best pair of moccasin slippers are for you to invest in so that you could feel the most comfortable and happy with your new moccasins. I know how hard it can be to choose a new pair of moccasins, or any footwear for that matter. Some Sometimes it takes me weeks just to decide what style to get. Then I go back and forth between colors and I get scared that I'm going to choose the wrong one. So we've compiled five big questions that you want to ask yourself when choosing the best moccasin slippers for you to ensure that you will get the most use out of them, that they are the most comfortable for you, and the most suitable for your home environment. So here are the five factors to consider when choosing the best style of moccasin slippers. The first question you want to ask yourself when trying to find the best pair of moccasins is if you want lined or unlined moccasins. Choosing lined or unlined moccasins is usually based on personal preference, what you find to be comfortable and how warm you want your feet to be. When most people think of moccasin slippers, they envision lined ones with either fleece, cotton or sheepskin lining. Lined moccasins can keep your feet really warm and if your feet get hot really easily they could potentially make them too warm. Unlined moccasins definitely have more of a natural feeling as your feet are right up against the natural leather material and are much cooler than their lined alternative. After considering how warm you want your feet to be and how you want your feet to feel you could choose between lined and unlined moccasins and then move on to the next question. The second question you want to ask yourself when trying to find the best pair of moccasin slippers is if you want hard sole or soft sole. Again, when you think of slippers, most people picture soft soles or semi-hard soles that might have a thicker material inside to give them added support. But for the most part, they're soft sole. You may opt for a harder sole moccasin though if you have slippery floors at your house. Some soft sole moccasins are so soft on the bottom that they are even more slippery than just wearing socks in your house. If you are someone who is prone to slipping on the hardwood floors like me, a crepe or rubber sole is extremely valuable as you'll feel much more safe to rock around the house in your moccasin slippers. If you like to walk outside occasionally with your moccasin slippers on, the rubber sole can protect your moccasins from getting too worn and protect your feet from the conditions whether it be cold or wet surfaces you're walking on. So depending on your mobility, the floors at your house, and how sturdy you want your moccasin slippers to make you feel, this will highly determine whether you choose to go with hard sole moccasins or soft sole moccasins. Do you prefer moccasin slippers that have a hard sole or do you prefer moccasins that have a soft sole? Please share with us in the comments below. Now we've looked at the first two questions for deciding which are are the best moccasin slippers. First, whether we want lined or unlined, and second, whether we want a hard sole or soft sole. Now let's move on to the third factor when deciding on the best moccasin slippers. The third question you want to ask yourself when trying to find the best pair of moccasins is if you want grain leather moccasins or suede moccasins. The material of your moccasin slippers can really determine the style and look that the footwear gives you, as the finish and also the thickness is completely different between these two materials.
materials. Grain leather moccasins have a shinier and classier look to them. And because they are thicker than suede, they typically don't have any lining in them. The grain leather moccasin when paired with a hard sole can definitely be elevated from a slipper style mock to a more formal flat style moccasin. You could dress up and wear out if you want to. Suede moccasins can look more casual and are often embellished with beading and or fur trim because the suede material itself looks relatively plain by itself. Whereas the grain material by itself can hold its own without any embellishments. When it comes to the material of your moccasin slippers, it really is a matter of personal preference and how versatile you want your new mocks to be. If you're not really sure what the heck the difference is between these two materials and want to learn more, watch this video right here on grain leather versus suede moccasins or mucklucks. The fourth question that you want to ask yourself when trying to find the best pair of moccasins is if you want your mocks to be more form-fitted or more loose-fitting. Some people want to be able to slip their moccasins on and off really easily to the point of throwing them across the room with a simple kick, whereas others may want more foot support. They have special insoles or inserts to put inside their shoes to keep their arches in position and so on. This can be a really important consideration for you if you need more supportive and fitting footwear at all times. Styles like the street moccasin or canoe moccasin are much more narrow and can easily fit a custom orthotic insert. If you are looking for moccasin slippers that are comfy, cozy, and more loose fitting, or if you have really wide feet and you want that extra room in there, styles like the teepee moccasin, traveler moccasin, bean dig, or walk and sun would be a great choice. Now the fifth and final question you want to ask yourself when trying to find the best pair of moccasins is what color do you want your mocks to be? This can be one of the most fun parts of choosing your new mocks. Or if you're really indecisive like me, it can be one of the hardest parts. <laughs> After you've already asked yourself the first four questions, you might have already narrowed down your color choices quite a bit based on what is actually available. But it's possible that after answering all those questions, you still have lots of colors to choose from. To choose the best color of moccasin slippers, it might be best to look at what you've already got in your wardrobe right now and to see what color would go with what you wear the most. This would be especially useful if you plan on wearing your moccasins outside or to other people's houses too. If you plan on wearing your moccasins exclusively in the comfort of your own home, then you could choose whatever color you want, of course. So now we've gone through all five factors to consider when choosing the best pair of moccasin slippers for you, which are one, lined or unlined, two, hard sole or soft sole, three, suede or grain leather material, four, fitted or loose fitting moccasins, and five, the color of your moccasins. If you're looking for the best style of mucklucks, watch this video right here on how to find the absolute best style of mucklucks for you. So now after watching this video, you should know exactly what the best kind of moccasin slippers are. So you could feel very confident with your choice and comfortable wearing them all the time. Be sure to check us out at tribaltradeco.com and use this special coupon code for 15% off your order. Please reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram if you have any questions. If you like this video, please let us know by hitting the like button, tell us what you liked about it in the comments, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you next time.